Do you want to launch your friends into the sky? Why'd you get so excited about that? I'm just talking about Minecraft. What is up guys? It is Farzy here and today I'm gonna teach you how to make an amazing TNT launcher to launch your friends, your family, or your pets into the sky safely. Not really safely, but it'll be fun. Alright, so let's start off with the materials. There's not too many blocks you need. You just need 16 building blocks, 8 TNT, 1 fence, 15 redstone, 1 button, and 4 water buckets. The hardest thing here is obviously this 8 TNT, but if you can get that gunpowder, this is so worth it. So before we build it, here is how this works. Basically, you're gonna hop inside a water pen, hit a button, and you're gonna get launched into the stratosphere. So what you're gonna do is take out your building blocks and place down five blocks in a row. Now we're gonna turn this line into a five by five box. So just go up four more on both of the end pieces and then bring it together at the top for a five by five box like this. Now very simply, just double this thing. So make it too tall with the exact same shape. Now take out your fence and put one right there in the dead center in the middle. Now take out your water buckets and in each of the four corners put down a bucket of water like that. Now here comes the redstone work. So you're gonna line this entire top part with redstone besides one block for a button. So my button will just go right here in the middle and boom. And finally, the most important part, take out your TNT and you're going to line the top layer around the fence just like this. Now you're all set to hop on the fence, hit the button, and once again, go into space. Now the cool thing about this is once you build it once, all you have to do is just replenish the TNT. There's no redstone being broken, no blocks being broken, it's just placed on more TNT. Now it's also cool to note that this TNT launcher can launch any mob that has enough health to survive. That means you can launch an iron golem. See ya buddy. <laughs> and down he comes. You can also launch a ravenger if you're careful with it. Go ahead, come on, go, get in the sky. Hey, there he goes. <laughs> oh, they're fighting. Guys, break it up, break it up. Just for YouTube, stop it. Minecraft tutorial gone wrong. What else can be launched here? I can definitely launch a Hoglin, right? He should have enough health, hopefully. Oh yes, we can. See ya, buddy. This one might not work, but let's try an Elder Guardian. Come on, buddy. No, don't flop away. Quick, one more. Ah, uh, let's try it one more time. Better timing, better timing, better timing. Go. Yes, see ya. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm not gonna waste your time launching every mob in the game, but you get the point. If a mob has a lot of health, you can launch them. Now I shouldn't have to do this, but just in case you're not thinking, if you or a friend is gonna go in this thing, wear armor, cause as you're gonna see, if you don't have armor, bad things might happen. Oh, wait, actually, scratch that, you can survive, just kinda. Apparently I just lied right to your face, but regardless, wear armor just to be safe. And just for my own satisfaction, Well guys, that is it. That is how you make an amazing TNT cannon. Unless you're a wandering trader, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to throw a like on it because it helps me out big time. But regardless of how you feel, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.